All right, so Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson is set to go down this summer. We know that, okay? And we know it's laughable. It's a joke. Jake Paul should be ashamed of himself. And it is an embarrassment, okay? Don't worry, I've said my piece. I'm not going to go over it all again. But a doctor has come out and give a dire warning, said that there's a real potential for brain damage for Mike Tyson to partake in a professional boxing match at his age. Remember, he's going to be 58 by the time he makes the walk. 30 years older. I mean, come on, get a grip, Jake Paul. This is just embarrassing. What is Jake Paul going to do? Is he literally going to go out there and try and knock out Mike Tyson, a man that's almost 60, when you're 30 years younger? And what if Mike Tyson knocks him out? Talk about the end of the career. And I'll tell you what, he goes out there and knocks out Uncle Mike. He's not going to win any popularity contest. That's just a fact. So there's been a few things. We're going to go through this article with the doctor who has a dire warning for Mike Tyson. Also, Jake Paul is trolling Mike Tyson. You think he'd have a bit of respect, okay, for the legendary boxer. He's recreating old iconic photos that Mike Tyson did in a terrible way. He's doing videos about when Mike Tyson bit off the ear of Evander Holyfield and just generally making a dick out of himself. And we're going to look at some of the training footage that we've seen from Mike Tyson. And Jake Paul responded, by the way. Anyway, let's have a look at this article here. Mike Tyson receives warning from doctor after Jake Paul furiously clears up the fight rules. Because remember, there was a rumor that it was going to go down in 18-ounce gloves with uh, both guys wearing head guards. That's bullshit. It's going to be a proper professional match. Legendary boxer Mike Tyson has been warned of the potential risk ahead of his fight against ex-YouTuber Jake Paul in Texas. Okay, let's go down. Mike Tyson has been warned that his fight versus Jake Paul could see him suffer rupturing to veins in his brain as his opponent shut down rumors they would wear head guards for the bout. Despite being 30 years the junior of his challenger, the man known as Iron Mike appears intent on defying the age gap this summer. The announcement that Paul, just 10 contests into his career in the ring, would box the unified World heavyweight champion has divided opinion amongst purists. Okay, we've been through all of this. We know this. Give me the good stuff. Give me the good stuff. Where's the doctor? Right, well, there they are. Mike Tyson looking, you know, little like a man that's 58 years old. Jake Paul looking like an absolute idiot, as always. Uh, here is, um, I think that was Derek Chisora saying he thought they were wearing, um, thought they were going to be wearing head guards and said that was a joke. But they're not. Okay. All right. So here we have the, uh, the part from the doctor offering a serious outlook on the prospect of the fight. Dr. Stephen Hughes also raised concerns for Tyson's safety in light of his advancing years. A senior lecturer in medicine at Anglia Ruskin University, he warned that the veteran fighter could be at risk of subdural hematoma, a tearing of veins in the brain, in a piece for the conversation. Listen, when you step in a boxing ring, Sadly, I think on average, something like 10 boxers die a year. So there's always a risk in boxing. But of course, when you're 58, that is going to be accelerated. He explained how blows to the head in the fight could be particularly damaging for the American. The immediate effects may be minimal. The boxer may simply recover. But on some occasions, the effects may be devastating. A subdural hematoma can occur. Uh, he also went on to say that, you know, that can be accelerated uh, via alcohol, okay? Listen, as I say, boxing is a risky business, okay? Jay Paul, I don't know what he's going to do. If he goes out there and literally tries to knock him out, he's going to be a prick, okay? But check this out. The man's already a prick. Look, look at him. What is he doing there? Here we have the iconic shot of Mike Tyson in his prime, in his heyday, looking like, a, looking like an absolute monster, right? There he is with his pet tiger. I mean, he knew how to spend the money. He knew how to have some fun. Jay Paul recreates it. The only problem is... Tyson's with a real tiger. That, Jay Paul is standing with a fake, okay? That is not a real tiger. That is taxidermy at best and a stuffed, fluffy animal at worst, okay? And look at some of the comments. Jesse on fire. Oh my God, bro. I was already a fan, but this is 24K. Jesse, hang your head in shame. Uh, Tyson's wasn't photoshopped. And look at this, yeah. That's what it's like. You know, Gerard Butler looking like a badass in 300 and that's the remake. What is it? We are the Spartans or something like that. That's pretty funny. There is the tiger. So as I say, as we go through, yeah, there it is. Look, that's a fake tiger. That isn't real. You can clearly tell that that is a stuffed animal. I mean, come on. He's got the boxing rear earrings in as well. Oh, dear. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, here is Jake Paul, again, trolling further or trying to. He's not doing a very good job, is he? Let's be honest. 
I mean, what is this? What is he trying to do? So, ooh, he's bitten an ear off. That's hilarious. And he's got the Mike Tyson tattoo. Wow, Jake, you really are. You really are a genius at this stuff. That is just so cringe. Anyway, talking about the fight, Mike Tyson had this to say. He said, because a lot of people think that he's doing it for money, okay? Tyson said, if you think I signed a contract for money, you're fucking stupid. I'm coming to retire him early so he can join his brother in WWE. Listen, he ain't doing shit to me. You're going to see how old I am fight night. I like Jake as a person. He knows it, but I'm a different animal. I'm doing the world of boxing a favor. Enough with this nonsense. You'll see. I'm coming for his head. And listen, Mike Tyson, as I said, he's 58 years old, but he's still got it. You know, the power is the last thing to go. And there is a potential that he could knock Jake Paul out, right? And I think he would be doing the world a favor. Let's have a look at some of the training footage, okay? Because he doesn't look too bad, if I'm honest, right? Here he is hitting the pads. <laughs> Day one, the fun just begun. Day one, right? Hitting Day pads. Two. Day two, let's have a look. Right, hold on a minute. Listen, we've never seen Jake Paul go up against somebody like that. Somebody that can move with that kind of power, precision, movement aggression and punching power with the head movement, that signature Mike Tyson, okay? Question is how long can he keep it up for? But I'll tell you what, in round one, I do believe Tyson gives him some issues, some big issues. But let's have a, let's have a look at some more of this footage. There's Rafael Cordero. Day four. Day three. You still want to fuck with me? You still hey, I'm really happy to have Nate Hold on. and Jake Paul on my undercard. It's going to be sensational. That's an old one. And now here's Jake Paul getting out the helicopter. He is such a badass, man. He's such a badass. And here's the final bit, and then I'll stop with all this, you know, integration on the video. Um, and where's Tyson? No, where's Jake? Where's the final word from Jake? Where is it? All right, so here we are. Jake Paul says, I'll show you how great I am, Mike Tyson, Saturday, July 20th. I mean, he's just promoting the fight. Fair play to him. All right, so that's the end of that little bit of a video. Um, as you can see, Mike Tyson's taking this seriously, okay? He says he doesn't need the money, and I'm sure he doesn't, although whatever he's going to get paid, I'm sure that doesn't hurt either. So it certainly will be a little bit of a motivating factor. He wouldn't do it for free, that's for sure. Um, I think Mike Tyson's doing this because he misses it. You know, the thrill of it. When you're away from combat sports for so long, you know what I mean? It's still in you, you know? Still got that old dog deep inside him and he wants to go out and remind the world, this is fresh, this is a challenge, it's something to get in shape for. And it's an exciting venture, it really is. And he gets a chance to like, go out there, this kid that's got all the hype in Jake Paul, dethrone him, be the first person to beat him and do it at 58 years old, right? It's a challenge for Mike Tyson, okay? That's what excites him. That's why he's doing it. Even though a doctor's saying, listen, you could potentially die, okay? You're going to have brain damage if he takes some heavy, heavy shots at that age. He doesn't care, though, because, of course, he's been taking risks his entire life. Um, but could he knock out Jake Paul? 100%. He's got the power to knock out Jake Paul. But how long can he sustain that kind of attack? That's the real question. And we just don't know. We just don't know. Two rounds, three rounds, four rounds. Hey, who knows? Maybe he can go the distance. But I would assume that as you're getting older, I'm 45, right? I'm not 58. Uh, I can still push hard. I reckon I can still get in shape to go 10 rounds if I needed to. Uh, but can you do that at 58? I don't know. Anyway, there's some thoughts. What do you think about this? Do you think this doctor is just scaremongering? Even though boxing is a very, very dangerous sport, what do you think about Jake Paul and all this the ear business, the fucking stuffed tiger making an absolute fool out of himself. You know, if you're Jake, you want to sit there and just be like, yeah, this is great. This is amazing. I'm boxing Mike Tyson. I've always been a huge fan of his. You know, yes, I understand he's 58 years old, but I still believe that he's a significant threat. Of course, he's got way more experience than me and he's known for the knockout power and he's a ferocious guy. So I want to test myself on him, you know, and if it turns out that you know, he's starting to get tired. I'm not going to be ruthless. I'm not going to look to knock him out. But he's too dumb. He's too dumb to think like that. He's going out there. He's trying to go full badass. Or I'm going to beat him up. I'm going to knock him out. I'm going to destroy him. I'm going to wipe the earth. I'm going to wipe the floor with him. 
It's 58, bro, right? That's not big. It's not clever. And it's just cringe and embarrassing, as I said. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.